Damien Wayne is the son of Talia al Ghul and Bruce Wayne. He works with Batman as his partner Robin, and this is the story of how Damien Wayne died. This story takes place in the 2012 comic book Batman Incorporated. Parts of this story continue throughout its 13 issue run, but Damien Wayne's death is in the 8th issue. Basically, Talia al Ghul has control of the global crime organizations, the League of Assassins and Leviathan. She wants to rule the world with Batman by her side and with Damien Wayne as her heir to their empire. But when Bruce Wayne declines the offer and Damien Wayne does the same, Talia goes pretty much insane. She has Damien Wayne cast out of her family and creates a replacement called Heretic, who is a clone of Damien grown in an artificial womb to adulthood and engineered to be stronger than Damien. They used your DNA and put it through a process of accelerated growth. He was born as a fully grown adult from the womb of a whale. After being rejected, Talia then places a bounty on Damien Wayne's head and uses her full resources to attack Gotham City. Half of her army are assassins and the other half are citizens of Gotham City who are being mind controlled. Batman forbids Damien from leaving the Batcave and helping as he is scared Talia will kill him and because Batman has had an alleged vision of the future and believes that if Damien Wayne continues as Robin and one day becomes Batman it will result in the destruction of Gotham. So Batman goes out alone to stop Talia. Batman is defeated and captured by Heretic and the members of Batman Incorporated are trying to rescue him but are too busy fighting Talia's army to get very far with their efforts. Damien is watching all of this from the Batcave and finally decides that enough is enough and he leaves the Batcave to go rescue his father. Alfred is supposed to be keeping Damien there but decides it would be better to let him go and help. Damien uses an armoured version of the Robin costume with a built-in jetpack and flies to Wayne Tower where Talia al Ghul is holding Batman hostage. Along the way he helps Dick Grayson who returns the favour and they both attack Talia's army and Heretic together. Heretic is able to knock Nightwing away easily and it comes down to a one on one fight between Damian Wayne and Heretic, with Heretic determined to defeat him as he views him as his only real rival. I don't understand why she just doesn't grow another one of you. She's got a freezer for it. Damian can't take him in a straight up fight, which does make sense as they are essentially the same person, except for the fact that Heretic is older and enhanced to be stronger. Damien realises that he can't beat him in a fair fight, so instead he attempts to murder Heretic with a bolt to the heart. But Heretic still doesn't fall and after another desperate struggle, Heretic manages to pierce Damien through the chest with a sword, killing him. This causes a brief moment of regret from Talia, though only a brief moment, but Batman of course takes it much worse and in a blind rage he attacks Heretic. Unfortunately Heretic is stronger and younger than him and he beats Batman with relative ease. But after Batman has had time to bury his son, he regroups and takes Heretic on again. This time he uses an advanced battle suit to enhance his strength and injects himself with Kirk Landstrom's bat formula, transforming him into a hybrid of bat and human. All of this negates Heretic's physical advantage and gives Batman the edge he needs to defeat him, along with some help from Nightwing and the Knight at least. But the Knight won't stop at defeating Heretic as he killed Cyril, who was the previous Knight and someone who was very close to her. So as Nightwing and Batman stop her from killing Heretic, he manages to escape and talk to his mother, only to be reprimanded by Talia for not doing as he was told and subsequently beheaded by her, as she has plenty more clones and doesn't need him anymore if he's not going to do as he's told. How could you just kill him like that? He was- He was flawed. Talia then goes to the Batcave for a final fight with Bruce Wayne. She uses a poison blade to defeat him and wants him to beg her for the antidote. This is when Jason Todd turns up on the scene in his wingman persona and trades a weapon for the antidote. After he has the antidote, Kathy Kane steps out of the shadows and shoots Talia al Ghul in the head, killing her instantly. The story ends with Damian Wayne and Talia al Ghul both being dead and both having been buried on the grounds of Wayne Manor. And then, when Bruce Wayne was away from the manor, both their graves have been dug up and their bodies have been removed. He returns to find two empty graves. And while this is happening, Rachel Ghoul is planning to use the rest of Damian Wayne's clones as his own private army. And that is how Damian Wayne died. Personally, I feel that this was a bit of a waste in a way. Damian Wayne dying is a very big deal in the comic book world, and this story just didn't feel like it was built up enough for me. It seemed too quick and sudden, whereas it should be more epic. But what do you think? Does this story seem like an appropriate ending for Damian Wayne, or would you have preferred for him to die in different circumstances? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who made this video possible by donating to Needle Mask Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. 
And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.